listen, there's been, there's been situations where the children said they want to go with the father. But the court still forced the kids to go with the mother. Yeah, but there's the thing. Without any evidence. No, if the child tells you they want to go with the father, what more evidence do you need? Okay, so, okay mm. let's say you want to put your child mm. in a childcare. Mm. Okay? One childcare is run by men, the other childcare is run by women. Mm. Which childcare will you choose? Of course, mm -hmm. I'm going to choose the woman. <laughs> Welcome once again to the Unfiltered Podcast, where pathological truth-seeking is the aim and comedy and laughter always the game. I'm back on the sofa again with Dan Raj, N.S. Young, and the hero of the hour with over 180,000 views on Instagram, which is big for us here at a new podcast and shows, etc. We have Trifle Rissan. Hey, hi. Thanks for getting my name right. <laughs> you know what I mean? My name is Jerry Hines, and we've got a great show for you today. And what's for us up? What's for us up? Very touchy subject. Um, it's becoming, okay, you might have heard of something called the red pill space, okay? And trad wives and trad husbands, etc., etc. What a big thing now is marriage and what happens to men after separation. Like, generally speaking, we never get the kids. Uh, we have to pay alimony. You know, it's normally stacked against the man. Everything goes in the favor of the woman, right? So we're going to have a discussion today of if we know how to improve the judicial system. What say you boys? Do you think women get the best of the deal? Or us men are puppy dog tails and deserve everything we get? I think a Chinese woman <laughs> gets a short end of the stick. <laughs> yeah, the short stick or short end of the stick. Well, both short end of the stick. Same difference, isn't it? Yeah, short short end. stick, short end. It's all pretty bad. No, I, I don't like the way that you insinuate that uh, <laughs> Chinese guys have. Uh... <laughs> um, but, but okay, but let's say she's had the short end of the stick for seven years, right? Okay. Well, comes to the divorce, right? Do you think he gets the short end of the stick? In the divorce, yeah, I think. Uh, <laughs> Are the laws are stacked against men mm. because when these laws were written right uh there was a different different landscape mm. women had yeah. less rights uh they didn't have have the same uh same opportunities yes they didn't work this is a uh in 1965 in singapore i think but now it's more or less equal between men and women mm. so there shouldn't be any favorable laws women no and not for men yeah uh, for me okay uh, some of you don't know this but um i founded lion city divorces club it's a concept uh that you had you you performed in one of the skits mm. com comedy skits uh i started that to give support to all divorces the interesting thing is i'm also a wedding mc all my couples are still together <laughs> and my and my marketing gimmick is zero divorce rate <laughs> but having said that, I've encountered a lot of people who have went through divorce. A lot of my male friends who got divorced, uh, we've been hanging out again recently. And I think the question is a bit too general, um, whether it's woman or men. But I think it's there's a bit of a balance in where where men get the shorter end of the stick or women get getting the shorter end of the stick. Because I've I've known the classic. Okay, give give me an example. Give me an example. Yeah. When a woman. We're not talking about if she was abused in the marriage. Yeah. But when it comes to the settlement in the yeah. judicial system, yeah. give me an example of when a woman got the short end of the stick. Well, um, there has been cases, but I, I have to really fact check this again. But I've had I, I've known men who were better off after the divorce, maybe because the woman was the problem, uh, or maybe because there was a child that wasn't his. Right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but he didn't have to pay for it. Mm. Yeah, you, you know, DNA test, blah, 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 whatsoever, and okay. Okay, so yeah. did, when he picked up with the lady, did mm. he know the kid wasn't his? Or it was only after a DNA blood test did he discover the child wasn't his? I, I can't verify that for now, but... Maybe because the, they were Chinese, then the kids is black. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would pose a problem, I think. I mean, yeah. consequently, truths were found out. Like, and of course, because of me being an outsider, I don't get the full 
picture, right? But he went for a DNA test. Uh, I, I, he might have. I don't know. But because it's, 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 he must have because yeah. there's no way that you would find out something like that unless yeah. you went to check. Yeah, yeah. Right. So if she lost out in that divorce, 100%, she deserves to lose out. Yeah. If she does that in the wrong country, she'd be stoned. Yeah, yeah. I mean... Okay, no, no. Okay, see. Uh, why? Okay, so uh, do you agree that uh, the women mm. should be given the custody? Not always. If she's an irresponsible woman, she shouldn't be given custody. Because statistically speaking, single men, <clears throat> excuse me, single men that bring up kids, statistically, the children make more well-rounded adults than single mothers who bring up children, statistically. That's a fact. Yeah. So no, from, from where? In, no, in, it, in, the in, the, in the world. Because men, right, we have boundaries, right? We, we give discipline. We have structure. Generally speaking, females are more emotional. The child is going through a problem. The woman will bend to the child. Men don't. So you'll find that statistically, single fathers bring up more successful children. No, but in the case of a divorce, right, I, uh, what I observe is both parents will bend to the child's Dreams and fancies. That depends. To try to on what it is. To try to win the child. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but okay, but anyway, so you're saying that the more responsible parent, yes, should be the one getting custody of the child. Yeah, which is a big cultural difference here as well. I've noticed, for example, when Chinese couples split up out here in Singapore in this region, a lot of the kids automatically go with the father. Mm. It, that is a cultural thing. No, no, you no. go with the mother. No, well, okay. Back in the old days. Okay, maybe Singapore is modern now, but you go back 40 years in, in Singapore and Malaysia, mm -hmm. when couples break up, a very high percentage went with the father. Okay. I saw, I've seen that with my own, own eyes. It's, maybe in the past, but now... It, maybe, the, the past, past, maybe not okay, now. Okay. So, so, so let's say, you said, right, the more, uh, the more responsible parent mm. would be the one who should be the one who's, who's given the, uh, the, the custody. Yeah. Okay, so if you're a judge, you don't know them personally, mm. and the evidence is not very clear, clear right? Mm. So you have, a, you, have, you have a woman, a mother, and a father. Mm. Who do you think is more likely to be a better parent to the child? You would automatically say the mother, but you just said the information wasn't clear. So You've got to make sure that information is no, clear. You can't, you can't tell who's the best person. No, yes, you can. Right, you can tell from their work status, their history, speak to the children, speak to the, speak to friends of that couple. Okay. And very quickly, so, you will see a pattern of who is most okay, responsible. So let's say the mother is a housewife. Mm. Okay, she gave up her career to be the housewife. Mm. And the father is still working. Mm. Right? So in this case, who do you think will be the better parent? Um, what, what if the housewife is an alcoholic? Oh, no. All things being equal, Mm -hmm. In this case, the judge can't tell who is the thing because normally this kind of evidence, right? Mm -hmm. Unless the couple try to school each other and take videos of each other and all that, mm -hmm. in a court of in a court proceeding, you can't really tell who is the better parent. Listen, there's been there's been situations where the children said they want to go with the father, but the court still forced the kids to go with the mother. Yeah, but that's the thing. Without any evidence. No, if the child tells you they want to go with the father. What more evidence do you need? Okay, our children will do things sometimes against logic. No. A, ch a child, when you ask a child, what do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> they will choose a dustbin truck driver. That will be their uh, thing. Those truck and all this kind of thing. But when they grow up, they think differently, right? <laughs> so you can't really base on children's uh, thing. The same reason why we shouldn't let children decide on their. Gender. True, but psychologists have a way of asking questions, right? You will know if there's something wrong with that mother. You will know. You, yes. The school will tell you. Okay, let's say in a situation, okay, mm. let's say you want to put your child mm. in a childcare. Mm. Okay? One childcare is run by men, the other childcare is run by women. Mm. Which childcare will you choose? Of course I'm going to choose the woman. Yeah. Woman. So, naturally, the judge is woman is seen as a woman. Because women are known to be better caretakers for kids. Right. But a working woman may not be a good caretaker. Mm. The woman is working, in the end, it's going to the maid that's taking care of the child, right? Yeah. And same for the men also. Well, what I'm saying is, right, the men, nine times out of ten, even when they're clearly the best candidate, just don't get the decision. 
But you see, that's the thing, is it? When you I say custody, right? Mm. Like, okay, so if, if you're a man and you got married to a girl. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it should be a woman, really. <laughs> so let's say you get divorced and a female gets the custody. Mm. So that is from Monday morning, from Saturday night mm -hmm. to Friday night, is the kid is going to stay with the mother. Mm. So the mother has to take care of all the school and work shit. Mm. Right? And the weekend, you get the child. That's a much better deal, right? No, that's because you don't like kids. If you're going to man I love kids. Who said I don't love kids? Well, the way you just described that, you're acting like a person who don't like children. If he's a man that likes children, he wants his children every day. He'll find a way of coping. Yeah, so there must be some kind of shared custody, right? Both parties want the kids. Right. right, and you'll find that even in the shared custody, the woman breaks the contract very often. And you know men are most suicidal because they can't see their kids. That's a statistical fact. That's what's actually happening. I, I, I just got to apologize first because I am not as passionate as you are in this uh, discussion. <laughs> uh, because the, the moment that you bring up this uh, issue, right, that uh, men and women got divorced, right? And what I think, right? As a Chinese, I'm only thinking how I can get a refund on the ang pao I gave to them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you all saw in the last episode, right, that I, I, I will give up to like $400. And then if they bloody only get married for a few years, then uh, what happens to... It should be a refund, yeah. right? I so think it should, should be like a, a prorated refund? I think so. Yeah, I think so. I think so. there should be a definition. Say there should that, be a time limit, right? Yeah, the ang pao is like valid for 25 years. If you're not valid <laughs> for 25 years... Okay, yeah. I think that's a bit long. Okay. Okay, give them the seven-year age. Yeah. Anything that's in seven years, full reimbursement. So, but that is supposed to be a lifetime thing, right? It's supposed to be, yeah, but... So to, so to answer think. your question, uh, not the husband or the wife get the shorter end of the stick. It's the Chinese guest at the Chinese <laughs> wedding dinner who get <laughs> the shorter <laughs> end of the stick. I, I said that, right? Yeah, yeah. And you said I'm wrong and all that? Right? You're always wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, because there's a lot of variables. What you say is true. Because I know men who have custody of the kids. I know men who have just taken the easy way out and just abandoned everybody. Mm. Same goes for women as well. Mm. Uh, and I have this joke uh, that I use once in a while about nobody wants to kidnap a Malay kid because it's got no uh, market value. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, no, oh, oh, that's, that's yeah. a joke. Yeah, like, like <laughs> that's a joke. You know why? You know because when the no, kidnap, no, no, no. <laughs> when the kidnapper calls, when the kidnapper calls, <laughs> hey, uh, I, I got your your son. The fellow say which son? Oh, uh, Zaki. Uh, take the fellow lah. Okay. <laughs> See how you skew the economy. <laughs> so do you get shot? I, I don't know, man. Uh, cigarette stick, maybe. <laughs> Would you trade? The child for a packet of cigarettes? No. I'll trade you for a packet of cigarettes. But usually kidnappers, <laughs> if you kidnap Malay kids, you cannot uh, get the parents because they never top up their uh, prepaid calling card. <laughs> or maybe they're in prison or something. Like that. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching the Unfiltered Podcast. Remember to hit that notification bell, subscribe, and most importantly, like, as that really helps our channel to grow. We'll see you again real soon.